Do you want to know a difference between the two mountains in the thumbnail that you just clicked on? Then stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how it is. What's up, guys? I'm Khalil, you know what I'm saying, man? You see all the pink and stuff, you be like, oh, I guess I clicked on a girl's video. No, I'm a boy, okay? I'm a boy. It's just my favorite anime character. Just so you know, like that, all right? Nothing crazy, nothing for you to be all curious about, like, am I a freaking girl or something? I think I'm a boy, okay? All right, so, welcome, though. This is how I'm gonna show y'all to get good at building mountains on Roblox, and I like to show y'all how to do it the right way and how not to do it the wrong way, so that way you learn from your mistakes because I want these videos to help you guys not have to watch any tutorials anymore. So you watch one video and then you're done. You're done learning from your mistakes. So let's hop right into it, you know what I'm saying? I'm stinky, ah, I smell like butt cheeks. All right, let's go ahead and get happy. Yes, sir, to make you happy, girl. Mm -hmm. happy. All right, so we're gonna hop right into it. Build mode right here. So you see, we in the nice little build mode. And so a lot of you guys, Y'all build um, mountains, driveway mountains, I'm specifically focusing on driveway mountains because, you know, you just don't have a mountain and there's no way to get up there. You kind of have a driveway. We all got cars. So we all want to make a driveway mountain. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I showed y'all actually like two years ago, but um, I deleted that channel. So if you do recognize my face, I'm back. Hello. Thank you. But for any of y'all who don't, um, this is basically a new channel. So what you want to start off with, guys, is you go to the stairs. You know what I'm saying? You know how it is. We all got the stairs, yada, yada, yada. So we're in our stairs. And you kind of want to pick between your stairs. So you got the classic ramp, long playing ramp, long classic ramp, and then plain ramp again. So normally what I would prefer is you get the classic ramp. So you get the classic ramp, and you always want to do it four squares long, four by four. So that way your car can uh, fit properly because this fits pretty much all cars. If you kind of do three, then you kind of got to like squeeze in there before, perfect. And so another thing, I'm gonna get the other stairs now. We're gonna get the other long classic ramp stairs. We're gonna do the four by four again. So do you see the difference here in this? So the angle. So the angle between the long and the classic. So if you get the classic stairs, stairs, a lot of you guys are gonna have a problem driving up these stairs and your car might get stuck right here. Say if you have a longer car, you'll get stuck when you get to the flat top up here because it's just too sharp of an angle for a car to proper, properly drive up. So never use these stairs, always delete these stairs Use the long ramps, use the long plane ramp, use the long classic ramp, use the long flat stairs because they do not get your car stuck. The angle is nice and long, so your car won't be coming up like this and dropping, you know what I'm saying? So, tip right there, long stairs, always use the long stairs. So, another thing, now that we got our stairs, we done figured out what stairs we want. I see a lot of you guys, uh, so y'all will build y'all's uh stairs right there and then you'll start making your mountain like this or whatever yeah mountain going hoo -ya, boo -ya. this is bad okay we don't want to do this because the reason why let me show you now let's get some floor placements let's go up right here all right so let's say this is our little road right so the reason why we don't want this because if we get our car right here it could fall off it could fall off the edge right here um, it could fall off right there. It could get stuck driving up. You don't want your car to get stuck when you're driving in the driveway because when you pull into your house, you want to be pulling in clean. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be pulling in and then everybody see you stuck and you're like, yo, somebody help. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be caught lacking. So don't do that. What you want to do is you want to get the walls right here, correct? And you want to build them up to here. So now you cannot fall off you are guarded by this wall it's like a rail for you you know a rail but another thing i see you guys do is y'all do this and then y'all start building y'all's mountain again this is not how a mountain will ever look in real life this if a mountain just came straight out and then dropped off and then the rest of the mountain came this would be some man-made wall this does not look natural and it looks ugly okay we don't like ugly we want to be pretty 
okay? We wanna be pretty. That's what you came here for. You came to build a pretty mountain, not an ugly mountain. So after you do that, you wanna maybe do one or two, or you can go here and you can give your little mountain some pizzazz. Yeah, there we go. And then now you have this nice little mountain. It looks more natural start. So same thing over here. We're gonna do this side. We're gonna get our wall, come all the way here. You can go all the way to the edge or you can go out a little further because now it doesn't really matter because you already have your guard pretty much, little guardrail. And so we'll go here, bam. And then now we have this nice little wall going around and the nice little structure of the mountain making the uh, driveway look more natural. So now that we have that, another thing that you guys would like to know is how do I make this mountain look pretty now? So now that we got the basics, we got, we done prevented how to not get stuck, how to not, make the stairs just stick out to where we can fall off or get stuck and not properly go up our driveway. So this prevents everything. So now we want to design this mountain. So what we want to do is we want to get the floor, we want to go back up, put it on manual, and we're going to click all of our little corners, our little turns, and we're going to go here. And we're going to go here again. Yada, 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 yada. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So now we have our pieces filled up on our little demo mountain. So now we're gonna go over to decorate. We're gonna go to colors. Oh, my bad, colors are over here, I'm tweaking. So now that we got this, we're gonna click on this. We're gonna go to the material first. And so the material you wanna do is the grass material, all the way, obviously, because it's a grass material. Now we go to the colors, and the colors you wanna use for things, it's the same thing as when you build houses or anything, you wanna use flat kind of monotone colors because anything that's too bright let's say we're using this bright green or we're using uh let's see what else this bright grass right here they just don't look natural like you've never seen grass like this and it doesn't it doesn't appeal to the eye so i prefer the grass colors i use is this dark one here i use this one i use this one right here and i use this one and i sometimes use this one too and these i think and this one as well these are the best grass colors that I have found. Mainly these three are my favorites. And then sometimes I use these if I need something else because I got too many of these colors going on. But these are the good colors you want to use. So I'm going to use this one for now. So we got that grass right there done. And we're going to push shift and then right click. I think it's shift right click, right? Oh, let's, look, let's see what it is. Shift, click. Yeah, then shift and left click. And then now we went ahead and copied the last color that we did over on this side. So now we got our grass going on. And so now we want to do the mountain. So with the mountain, I suggest you don't change the color at all, but you come and you find the, the right mountain texture. And normally I use, um, let's see which texture it is. I think it's this, uh, it's kind of a rough looking texture. I haven't played in a minute, but you know, just give me some time, I'll find it, okay? Let's, let's say slate, I think it's the slate. Yeah, this slate. So this slate texture has like the rockiest looking texture, as you see, it looks really good. So you wanna click that, and then you just wanna do the shift click all over your walls again. Bop, boop, beep, just like this. So now when you get those done, now you have the outside of your mountain looking real spiffy. People gonna pull up to your mountain and be like, oh my God, this is nice. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you want. So now we're gonna go back to the floor and we're gonna extend our driveway out. So now that we have the stairs, we kind of want to finish our driveway. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna kind of make it look a little, a little unique. So there we go, there's our driveway. So that's the whole driveway right here. So now we're gonna wanna color that. Now it depends on how you want to do your driveways. I normally like to do my driveways as a dirt trail um because i just think it looks the best but you can put you know stones or something whatever you want to do you can add that but i like to go with the same pretty much grass texture um but i make it a different color and i normally go with this color up here when i do it and then i put that as all of these as well and so now it kind of looks like i have like this little dirt rocky road that goes through the mountain and that is my trail Looking nice, huh? Ooh, we looking good. So now that we got this, your mountain pretty much looks amazing already, right? But we want to make it look better. That's what you came here for. You came to learn how to make a mountain 
that's the best. You didn't come to make no mid-mountain because why? You know what I'm saying? So let me show you how to do that. Let's show you how to make this mountain look better. So what you can do is you can push this roof button. This is one that I highly suggest. And you go with the flat, you go with the flat roof. You go down one layer. Now, I will say, you will need um, basements for this one, if you want. Those of you who don't got basements, um, I'll show you another trick, but for those of you who have basements, you go down one layer, and then you start placing your roof. So let's see, I want my roof to start here. Bam, bam, and I'm gonna make it look, um, I always do random little spots because you don't want your mountain to like be straight and everything. So you wanna kinda, uh, you know, give your mountain some love and whatever, make it look good. So we're gonna raise it, let's say we raise it here, and then bam, good. So now we got a little piece right there. And then, so we're gonna do the same on this side. Whoop -dee -doo -whoop 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 -whoop. And then we're gonna raise this one up some more just cause we want to. And then there we go. And then it's gonna be the same thing. So we're gonna color this. This is the grass, right? Okay, so we're gonna color the grass. So bam, grass, we can make it the same color or we can make it a different color. And I suggest that you put different type of greens on your grass because it does look very aesthetically pleasing. So I would do that if I were you. That is just my little tip. Um, if you don't want to, go ahead, don't do it. But you're gonna be lagging, you're gonna be lagging. So, and then you copy the same thing over here and you can change the color on this green as well. So I did it to this one last time and I changed it to here. So I'll go with the other green that I said, which is the darker green. And then there we go. So now we have this little extra pizzazz with the roofs. So now that we got that, we can go ahead and add some other little fun things. For those of you who don't have basements, you go ahead and you come back up and we can hop into small ledge and if you have the uh, i don't know what it is but it's the pass where you can put other things into another then you can do this and something like this yeah and we can like put these little grass layers into the walls if we want to something like that and that always adds some extra pizzazz as well so you can just change the color of that we'll go with um we'll go with this green Bam, so now we got some little more pizzazzy right there. That's just some things you can do. You can go all the way around, but I don't want to do that for this mountain. It's just something that we can do. And another thing I would suggest, if you want your trail to look real natural, you like having lined up edges and things, I would go to fences and I would go to the plain short fence. And then on the sides where your road is, your road, you do the same slate design here and then you do it there now come down and look at that it kind of looks like you have like this uh mountain trail outline and it looks really nice and you can go um all the way over here around just to make it look um not so random but that is something you can do and i normally do that around all of my mountains and so the last thing that i'm going to show you guys is kind of how to decorate this mountain make it look good some cool tricks or whatever so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the garden and I don't have a lot of trees a lot because I don't freaking garden because they don't give me enough XP but um let's go with these little pine trees right so I click a pine tree here click a pine tree there another one here and another one there and then we're gonna go back to the garden and we're gonna get another tree so let's see let's see where's a little round little cutie lollipop tree right here bam so we got a spear tree bam right there bam right there and we'll do one right here and right there okay and then for the last trees that we're gonna do is we can go ahead and just get the little larger gen or I want a medium one I don't want that super big one and then bam we'll go right here so there we go cutie pie and then another tree right here so <laughs> bam just like that so now we got these little trees going around, and so we can now add some little bushes. Little bush here, little bush there, little bush here, little bush there, little bush here. And so with these trees and things that you put down, you kind of don't want them to have any symmetry to them. You just want to put them in random places because nature grows wherever it wants to. It just doesn't listen to you. It just grows where it wants. So another thing is 
You got these trees, the ugly brown. Always go with this brown right here or this brown. So this brown makes it look nice and so does this one. So I normally go with this darker brown right here. Nice little dark brown matches all the greens, looks great. And then the same thing with the leaves uh, that you do, with the greens that I suggested are the greens that I would prefer that you would get because they're gonna make your walls look very natural. Um, oh my gosh, this is the only one that wants to do everything backwards. Weird tree, and then try this one. Yep, another weird tree. <clears throat> so now that we have our little trees decorated here, we're gonna decorate these ones. And I'm gonna go with, uh, let's see, I'll go with the dark green. This little dark green, and I'm gonna go with the brown. Bam, same thing. And then same thing going around. I don't feel like doing all of them right now because it's too much, it's too much. Um, bam, there you go. So we did our bushes, voila. Look at them, look at that, look at that little mountain. That mountain looks great, doesn't it? I know, right? Now you're a master at building mountains. So. This is how you can make a mountain look good. You know what I'm saying? Make a mountain look good. Um, and it's gonna look great. And you do this around your whole mountain to figure out how you wanna make your driveway, this and that. And you do your whole mountain this same style way that I did. This is the most simplest way that it's gonna look really, really great. Now I can make another video another time to show you how to make all mountains. But this is how you're gonna make the best driveway mountains that are out there. I mean, there's nothing that is really gonna beat this because I've, I've, I've seen a lot of driveway mountains and like if you wanna go the most natural route of making your driveway mountain look great, this is it. So I hope this was very helpful. And if it was, please go ahead and give it a like. Give me a comment, tell me what helped you and what do you like about my tutorials that help you. I don't know. Let me know so I can keep doing it. Or if you don't like it, let me know so I can stop doing it. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it helped you and that um, you learned from it and so you can get better. So I hope you guys have a blessed day. And until next time, guys, cool.